Esteemed viewers, welcome to Golden Age Technology on Supreme Master Television. Today we travel to Switzerland to meet Dr. Jean-Christophe Souffre, who is a researcher and teacher of mobile robotics at the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, or EPFL, as well as a group leader of the institution's Laboratory of Intelligent Systems. The talented Dr. Souffre is also the co-founder and chief executive officer of Sensefly, an EPFL startup company specializing in the design of intelligent flying robots for use in aerial photography, mapping, surveillance, atmospheric sampling, and much more. Sensefly has released a range of small and easy to operate micro unmanned aerial vehicles, or micro UAVs, known as swinglets. A version called the Swinglet Cam is a super lightweight, safe and user-friendly flying drone that has on board, among other devices, a 12 megapixel camera, allowing it to take high resolution pictures from the skies. It provides outstanding surveying capabilities that can be used in a variety of areas such as wildlife monitoring and archaeology. The swinglet is powered by a rechargeable lithium polymer battery. Maximum flying time is about 30 minutes before recharging is required, enough to cover 10 square kilometers during a flight. There are many wonderful features and abilities that the swinglet offers. To find out more, let's hear from Dr. Souffre, who explains the reason he and his team at Sensefly developed this series of automated flying drones. So basically the mission of Sensefly is to uh, design fully autonomous, uh, small drones or UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, to do many things uh, for civil applications. So you can think of surveying crops for farmers, for example, to detect uh, watering issues or problems with, with irrigation. So basically it's a tool to provide uh, maps and imagery of a certain area of up to a few square kilometers. Basically, you will throw in the air uh, a flying camera that will return, so first, first of all, take off, survey the area, take lots of pictures and return back home fully autonomously. And then we even have now a, a system that allows you to upload the images that have been taken during flight and, and generate maps of the area on which you can measure stuff. You can directly measure the extent of, of the damage, for example, or you can measure the size of your crops and stuff like this. The swinglet can be operated by anybody, even without prior experience or knowledge of such sophisticated devices. It has a lightweight, flexible form body and weighs just 500 grams. This unit's small size and agility allows it to land safely on almost any terrain. Here is the swinglet. Uh, so as you can see, it's made out of uh, flexible foam. It has the propeller on the back. And basically what you see here is the, uh, the, the high resolution camera that allows to take vertical pictures just underneath. You see the objective there. And here is the, the battery to fly it. And hidden in the foam there, there are a lot of electronics. In fact, it's full of really intelligent stuff. Here there is the autopilot that allows to fly the system, navigate. Somewhere hidden some, uh, there you have the GPS and a small communication device in order to know where it is and see it on the map of the software that is running on your laptop, basically. So, in fact, the way to communicate with the swinglet is by shaking it. So to check whether the camera is well attached to the autopilot, you can shake it vertically like this, three times, and then it will auto open its objective and you can see the camera is on. And if you shake it again, it will retract the objective there, and then it's ready to take off. So to take off, basically you take it like this, and you shake it three times again, but back and forth, like this. And now it's ready for takeoff. You can launch it. And then you can also switch it off by shaking it again. It's, uh, it's all in a suitcase like this. 
So you remove the battery and then you plug it into uh, a few magnets there. And it's also simple to, to take it with you, put it in your car. How does the swinglet know where to fly? As the device is equipped with an onboard USB modem, the operator simply programs the flight path on their laptop prior to flight. The instructions are wirelessly transmitted to the swinglet and then it's ready to go. Once airborne, it uses a global positioning system or GPS to navigate while its smart sensors can tell if it is flying towards an object and adjusts its path automatically to avoid a collision. So the Swinglet cam um, operates thanks to uh, what we call an autopilot, that is a, a small piece of electronics. Um, it is equipped with a set of sensors. It has gyroscopes, accelerometers, pressure sensors, airspeed sensor, uh, GPS of course to know where it is. And basically the software that is on, that sits uh, on board the, the microcontroller uh, of the autopilot does the computation required to know the attitude of the aircraft, so basically the orientation, and the position in order to control both its orientation and, and position. And also, this autopilot is a link to a pocket camera that is sitting at the middle of the aircraft, oriented towards the ground, and it is triggered by the autopilot when necessary. So for example, it can be triggered every few seconds to really cover a certain area. You can program it to survey any kind of field at any kind of altitude between, let's say, 50 meters above ground and up to a few thousand meters. So it can climb up to 2,000 meters and take really wide angle pictures mm -hmm. from there. Usually we use it at lower altitude uh, and we take a lots of pictures that we reassemble, we mm -hmm. mosaic them mm -hmm. together at the end. When it's finished with the, with the mission, it will get back uh, on the launching position and glide down to the ground fully autonomously. Available in three models, the Swinglet comes tailored for specific purposes. We have a, a product family based on the Swinglet. So the Swinglet is the platform and it can be uh, uh, declined with many different options. So we now have a family of three products, which are the Swinglet Cam, of course, the Swinglet Sticks, and the Swinglet Met. Swinglet Sticks. So this is a Swinglet that has a small uh, computer on board that is basically for research and development mm -hmm. companies or institutes for them to program whatever behaviors they want or to add sensors on board to do mm -hmm. research, basically. And the Swinglet Met is for the weather monitoring uh, mm -hmm. purpose. So basically, this is a Swinglet that could replace the radio sons mm -hmm. that are now using helium filled balloons to do atmospheric sampling. Mm -hmm. So, for example, to measure temperature, humidity, and wind, you can use a Swinglet Met for that. So it doesn't have any camera, yeah. it just has the uh, atmospheric samplers. The Swinglet has many useful surveying and monitoring applications for those in agriculture and numerous other fields. We are changing a little bit the camera such that it makes more sense for farmers to use our drone. Uh, looking at uh, the wellness of plants using a slightly different camera will be something that uh, will be available in the near future. Then we have people that look at uh, wildlife uh, monitoring. So for example, they are counting animals on the ground, like kangaroo in Australia, or in some small islands. There are uh, scientists that are uh, studying the movement of turtles. Uh, uh, and, and basically what they did up to now was to count them by, by hand. So they were swimming in a bay, for example. They were swimming around and, and clicking on a small thing they had in their hands. So now we are with our drones that can basically take a few pictures and count them easily mm -hmm. on, on the images they get. So this is one of the applications. And of course, there are people that are looking at uh, uh, documentation of construction sites mm -hmm. uh, or archaeologists that are looking after ruins. For example, they are really interested to have uh, global overviews of the, of the ruins uh, when they found them. Uh, there are people that are looking at uh, forests 
so uh, unhealthy uh, trees in forest with aerial pictures really easy to spot them to go to them and, and to do something uh, using aerial imagery again is very really easy whereas if you have to go on the earth with some measurement device it takes a lot of time a group of researchers at eco polytechnic federal de lausanne is looking to enable micro unmanned aerial vehicles to be of use during search and rescue work and relief operations in disaster zones. They are developing technology that will allow a number of small drones to work together at the same time, a process known as swarming. Swarming uh, air vehicle is a notion that is more on the research side uh, uh, still currently. So the, the, the goal of the research in this area is to see whether we can improve the capability of a single large drone by using many small ones. Mm -hmm. um, so this is something that we are doing not at Sensefly but at EPFL and I think we were the first of, in the world to deploy up to 10 small aircraft in the air together to achieve many different things. So we did that with many different goals uh, in mind. One of them was to basically answer the question, how can we make uh, a global coherent behavior of these drones? We are looking at how we can help rescuers on the ground to achieve uh, their goals, for example, fi finding a victim on the ground mm -hmm. by providing a fleet of such uh, air vehicle, looking at the ground, looking at the victim together with dogs and, and rescuers on the ground, and also provide um, communication support uh, to, for example, send files back and forth to provide images, etc. Sensefly has indeed created a highly beneficial tool that can benefit humankind in a myriad of ways. When swarming technology is further advanced, surely the swinglet will help save many lives during search and rescue and disaster relief missions. Kudos and many thanks, Dr. Jean-Christophe Souffre, for providing us with an overview of the many fascinating features of the swinglet. May you and your team at Sensefly enjoy continued success in enhancing the capabilities of your device in the years ahead. For more information on Sensefly, please visit www.sensefly.com. Thoughtful viewers, thank you for your company today on Golden Age Technology. Up next is vegetarianism, the noble way of living. After noteworthy news, May all beings on our planet forever live together in peace and harmony. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT.